Hello friends. My name is Arvind Tang. Today is my eighth presentation on the subject of ethics in real estate and hospitality industry. And today's topic is designing of the robust external development works or hardscape. Uh, what is included in this presentation is our, uh, the scope of the hardscape design works, the, what are the essential characteristics of the robust hardscape, what are the types and key, or, uh, key specifications of the hardscape materials which are used, uh, good design practices in the hardscape development process, and uh, uh, stages of development uh, developing the design of hardscape, which I have proposed five stages, and building quality in the designing process. Uh, the scope of hardscape design uh, in, today, in today's presentation include the uh, designing for the roads, paved areas, pathways, drainage, water bodies, fountains, entry drives, gates, pavilions, recreational areas, gazebos, boundary walls, external lighting areas, signages, and terrace, etc. Uh, providing uh, and of course providing valuable inputs to the architects and MVP teams for facilities in the hardscape or the softscape areas. The, what are the essential characteristics of a robust hardscape? There are about 18 essential characteristics which I am just going to share. These are designing of all external works which conform to the sanction and regulatory approvals, uh, particularly with respect to the roads, the setbacks, etc., and the uh, pools, etc. Designing of the taste, designing must be tasteful and functional paving uh, for the functional paving and overall hardscape. Designing for efficient utilization of the space in the landscape areas. Designing of patios, deck designs, fencing, boundary walls, fencing, pavers, concrete works, pebbles, and driveways, etc., must be safe. The designing of the, law, uh, the lawn furniture must be uh, weatherproof. Uh, the uh, provisioning of the swimming pools and spas, designing of the ponds and water bodies, designing of any external structures, features as per the requirement of the customers, designing of the storm water management system, providing outdoor recreational and physical activities preservation of any historical uh, heritages, if any. Uh, designing of the ponds and water bodies, which are uh, which are scenic, uh, creating swimming pools and spas that meet statutory requirements uh, in consideration with the MVP designers. Designing of the outdoor kitchens uh, in the open areas, uh, pr proposing sustainable solutions in favor of the environments in coordination with the MVP design teams. Use of lighting as a very, very powerful tool in coordination with the MVP designers providing solutions for cleaning the soil and water with inputs from the MVP designers and the regeneration of the polluted areas. Now, different type of materials which are used for the hardscape work. Uh, in this, uh, uh, this, I have proposed a table, which includes on the left side, the uh, type of uh, materials which is used and the right side, what are the key important characteristics uh, or specifications that designer must uh, take cognizance of and incorporate in the detailed designing process. For example, for the stones and marbles, uh, uh, designer has to specify whether this is natural or synthetic, overall dimensions, size, uh, the commercial name of the, uh, uh, of the uh, marble, uh, country of origin of the marble, thickness, color, hardness, grain size, textures, polishability, chemical properties, and so on. Uh, then uh, there are paving uh, materials where the designer has to specify the shape, the size, the thickness, the compression strength, the coefficient of friction to prevent skidding, and uh, types of uh, different types of the uh, paving materials. Uh, then uh, there are some external uh, features which are made out of steel, which can be structural steel or low alloy steel or stainless steel, etc., uh, uh, like railings. Uh, so tens uh, here the important characteristics are tensile strength, brand, grade, uh, yield strength, elasticity, hardness, ductility, strain, um, toughness, and so on. Uh, for the wooden features of the hardscape, one has to specify the size, the color, the luster, the grain, the content, the hardness, density, shear resistance, and so on and so forth. Uh, there are some uh, features which require aluminum. Uh, now, here, the designer has to specify the brand, the grade, the strength, the weight, and air tightness. Heat, def heat deflection, corrosion resistance, appearances, and so on. For the plastic materials to be used in the hardscape, uh, designers need to incorporate the brand, the grade, the strength, the fire resistance, the weather resistance, durability, size, color, chemical resistance, thermal resistance, etc. And for the signage, finally, uh, the water, the material, different type of materials to be used, whether it is steel or aluminum or plastic, glass, etc. Uh, for the signages, 
the size, the strength, and the strength, the type of lights and color, etc., to be used for the signages. Now, what are the design incorporate? Uh, what are the uh, good design practices that need to be incorporated for the installation of the hardscape features and materials? These are these include but not limited to construction of irrigation and drainage system, subsoil. How to how to uh, how to install that system? Construction of the sculptures, water bodies. Laying of the turf, uh, developing of the golf areas, installation and testing and commissioning of the signboards, uh, street lights, night lighting, unique features, etc. Construction of the external walls. How to do that? Uh, controlling of the vehicle traffic, the way to design these roads. Uh, paving slabs, surfacing of the gravels. How to install them? Laying of the curves and stones, and construction and uh, erecting of the structures, which could be of any material. Now, how to build uh, quality in the designing process uh, using various kind of design software. Now, the different kind of uh, inputs are required to be uh, incorporated uh, into the designing uh, from the uh, uh, software architects, interior designers, and MEB designers for integration of the design across the project. Vis a vis, in our case, uh, designing of the swimming pool, ponds, and water bodies, designing of the patios, fencing, driveways. Designing of the uh, lawns, landscape furniture, designing of the landscape lighting, designing for the waterways. Now, these uh, inputs also need to be taken from the sales and marketing team, besides the promoters of the project. Uh, now, this uh, incorporating the designing features may require use of sophisticated software uh, such as Idea Spectrum, Real Time Landscape Pro, NCH software, Dream Plan, Smart Draw, and so on and so forth. Now there are uh, there can be different kind of uh, different type of stages for developing the design of the hardscape. Uh, this could vary uh, from project to project, company to company, depending on the size of the project. Uh, for a for a typical uh, simple uh, project, what uh, is proposed here is the five stage designing process. Now, irrespective of the number of the design stages or the uh, type of the project, uh, the 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 design uh, the design stages must incorporate and must enable following number one the design must be uh, comprehensive accurate uh, incorporate uh, the design must incorporate the customer requirements and national and uh, international quality standards uh, for the hardscape material and the specification it must integrate the statutory and safety requirement in the designing and the drawings it must enable the optimum optimum design project cost uh, use of software that enable uh, delivery of the specifications uh, designs and drawings efficiently and incorporate maker checker uh, concept uh, in the designing stages uh, uh, through the implementation of what is called the segregation of duties concept which has also been explained in my earlier presentations now the, in the design stage one uh, uh, i am not going to deliberate for any of the stages the uh, different steps which are required i will just focus on the what are the activities that designers need to be aware of so that they that so that these uh, activities don't adversely impact the business. These are, for example, uh, uh, in the context of uh, designing of hardscape and external development works, not retaining or not incorporating the uh, not incorporating the uh, various uh, inputs from the different functions. Uh, for example, visioning of the different type of rooms, halls, recreation areas, gazebos, restaurants, paved areas, pathways, water bodies, fountains. Entry drives, gates, pavilions, boundary walls, lighting areas, and signages and terraces, etc. The the restaurants and uh, uh, halls and recreation areas more mostly in the context of the hospitality industry. Uh, using of unlicensed software while developing a concept design for the hardscape, and not vetting the concept and the detailed design, uh, making uh, compromises uh, while vetting hardscape in collaboration with an in-house or outsourced hardscape consultant. By skipping or compromising on the important design and drawings uh, aspects, such as below, uh, which are the hardscape features. Uh, now, these are tolerances on the material specification and work, uh, workmanship, statutory code related requirements for the hardscape, national and built international standards of quality, uh, raw materials which are relevant, their sizes, specifications, etc. Compromising on those hardscape safety requirements. And bribing of the mandatory agencies which approve the hardscape relevant for the issuing the compliances. Uh, now uh, here I have put some strict marks. These uh, these indicate that 
in case of non in case of uh, compromises on this there can be strategic implications as well in the design stage 2 uh, which is primarily the developing of the detailed designs here the design intent uh, must be aligned to the approved concept otherwise it can adversely impact this business the hard scope detailed designs they need to they need to be comprehensive with service the site plans drawings dimensions grading material soil depth drainage water feature etc uh, or if these are not accurate this can lead adversely impact the business and material specifications they need to be complete and uh, correct and comprehensive of course uh, in the stage 3 which includes uh, developing of the technical tenders in the designing stage uh, these uh, designers or the architects they, they need to include the names and brands of uh, alt, uh, two three at least two three four options for the uh, materials uh, and not only one limited to one preferred vendor uh, uh, to uh, to uh, eliminate the possibility of commissions or kickbacks from such vendors and uh, designers uh, architects must recommend uh more number of sources for many of the bio key materials thus leaving very few options uh, uh in case it is limited to single source for uh, negotiation and uh, pricing uh the tender drawings they need to uh, be incorporating all the applicable quality standards for all the works and the materials and uh, tenders uh, also need to incorporate all the necessary strategic requirements whether national or international with service safety um, aspects in this stage 4 it is estimating costs uh, for the uh, external development work or the hardscape now uh, sometimes designers they are just doing this costing based on the thumb rule uh, this need to be done on first principle basis now uh, activities that can diversely impact business include the skipping of the few boq inputs or raw material cost for some of the areas such as roads paved areas pathways drainage water bodies fountains anti drives and so on and so forth and uh, inaccurate estimation of the cost elements such as bio key materials use of civil works uh, or steel or equipment or uh, uh, inappropriate uh, inappropriate accounting for the labor components uh, or the you know the construction cost or the installation cost uh, for the various uh, hard scale elements uh, issuing of the as built drawing uh, as built design is the final stage uh, which i propose here uh, you know uh, on paper the as built drawings can be um, uh, uh, actual drawing actual construction if it is at variant with such the as built drawing this is not fair and this can adversely impact the business in case the strategy agencies or the customer come to know so the uh, the uh, the architects must issue the as built drawings uh, which are uh, uh, based on the actual approved sanction uh, uh, drawing and follow the construction accordingly now there are overall thus 21 activities that can adversely impact the business while design, while designing the while designing the hard scope uh, hard scope uh, for more details for more details uh, cover for details more uh, in the presentation you can refer to the uh, following uh, uh, one is that by my uh, book titled ethics in the real estate and the annuality industry volume 1 architecture trader and mvp designers and this this book is available uh at uh, amazon dot in or amazon dot com and there are uh, there are there are uh, blogs on the website uh, uh which i have listed here you can refer to that uh, there are some postings on the my facebook and linkedin and also uh, various kind of uh, uh, various kind of presentations which are made in these uh, uh, facebook linkedin both uh, personal as well as uh, public uh, thank you very much for your patience listening thank you